and welcome back YouTube thank you for tuning in as always another day another DLC controversy this time surrounding Total War Warhammer or Warhammer Total War and this game is being made by Creative Assembly and published by Sega it is coming out in six months time somewhere in April 2016 but now if you go to the Steam page you can already pre-order it if you do so you get according to Sega a free DLC which is chaos now if you're not familiar with the 40k universe chaos is a major faction so it sounds great right why not pre-order it so I'll get a free faction to play with but the thing is that because this is a major faction this should be in the retail version at launch in the game this should not be a DLC pre-order bonus because it's not a bonus they say it's a bonus it's not a bonus because it's a major faction it's the chaos faction people love the franchise they love the chaos they want to play chaos and now you have to pre-order it to get it of course if you wait a couple of years down the line you can get the game with chaos and whatever but the fans are almost forced to pre-order this to play with chaos and this is a yet another scam and w one that is the worst I've ever seen up until now so the fans they withheld a faction on day one right when the game is released you don't get to play with chaos if you wait until launch so you have to pre-order it and pre-ordering is not a good idea because you don't know if the game is going to be any good so if you order the game if you pre-order the game then you're sort of paying money up front not knowing if the game is actually going to be any good and it's always a good idea for consumers just to wait until launch right because then the reviews come out people are going to play it youtubers will jump at it and give their opinions on it right that is if you're an average gamer like me wait until launch and I think it's just another cash grab of a move by Sega and Creative Assembly because they have a responsibility in this as well as creators of this game that they just wanna put their hands in your pockets up front and the only reason why they want that is that Sega can recoup some money already in this year this fiscal year 2015 for the game that's coming out in 2016 so they already have some money right this year that's the whole thing that's the whole idea about pre-orders right because this game takes a long time to to be made right so Sega just wants some money up front I have no problem with that but don't pretend to the people that they're getting a bonus because they're not because a game that is called Warhammer Total War or Total War Warhammer without the chaos is not complete it's just they you can tell me that they are going to first create Total War Warhammer and then besides that they will create chaos DLC right it's one thing so Sega just says to Creative Assembly cut this part off and give that to pre-orders right which is easy because you don't have to actually create something as a bonus or new or cosmetic or whatever right no you just take the game you cut a piece off and you give that to the people that pre-order it so those people get the full game but people who are sensible and wait until launch 
because, you know, just wait for the reviews and see if there are any bugs and glitches and just wait a little bit longer. Because usually these games, right, the Total War games are, they have bugs on launch, right? So it's it's a good idea to wait. But they get a half-baked game already. Because there's no chaos there. I'm repeating myself here. But it's these big publishers, these AAA titles, vote with your wallet, right? This is not acceptable. We don't accept this. Let them know. Go to forums. Go to Reddit. Vote the game down. Whatever you do, let them know this is not acceptable. We are the consumers. We can vote with our wallets. Don't pre-order this game. Don't pre-order it. Along the line you'll get the DLC and all the stuff that they will release for it. Don't do it now. You get nothing in return, really. So, that's my take on this whole thing. And personally, I'm not going to buy any AAA titles anymore until I think they're complete, they're finished, and when they're on sale, really. Because I'm not prepared to sponsor these big publishers anymore. I'm not going to pay up front for Assassin's Creed or, I don't know, uh, Deus Ex and Total War. I don't, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And you shouldn't either. That's my advice. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you think.